jigs and stuff, but That's the back and forming block for the rear window molding of a cougar. Oh, for a cougar? Mm -hmm. Looks like it's seen better days. <laughs> oh, look at that. Well, you. Some type of jig probably for blowing up windshields. Place wingtip moles. That's a Yankee. Sure is. I still got them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, these are the Yankee wingtip moles. Not the wall, I just ran into.
<laughs> this is the Cougar uh, rudder tip plug with a rudder tip in place on it. Oh. And forming tools for fuselage formers. Guys. I think they get them a real jigsaw puzzle to figure out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like a windshield mold there. It's like two place once you know. Yeah, it looks like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Cougar fuselage. Huh. Lower half of the tub. Okay, now this is the the good stuff in here. This is your all your hot jigs and <clears throat> that's a uh, cougar aft fuselage plug there. These are cougar, cougar wing section jigs. Your, yeah, this is mostly cougar tooling over here. There's some air control surfaces. Yeah. Yeah. Cabin top. <laughs> I'll be darn, there's your engine mount jig. Huh. You know, that red, that red stand there. Oh, okay. So I said, damn, I can help you. Yeah. Okay. It's like Tiger. The size of the plugs on it, yep. Line mm -hmm. everything up and check it all in place and start tack welding it. Tack it up. <laughs> they rounded up enough people to from, from previous programs? I don't know. I three times last night and never got a straight never answer, so I answer. guess it's no. Well, they're going to have one hell of a training chip, right? Mm hmm. Either way, they're going to have a big training program. Mm -hmm. That's it. Cougar, cougar window molds, cougar door mold.
Or jig. Inboard wing roots, cougar. Baggage door. That's it. Main fuselage alignment jig for the cougar. That's the bonding tub for the lower fuselage. Well, they just set that whole thing in. They, yeah, it's all in, all vacuumed. Vacuum bag sucked in and bonded. Huh. Well, I don't see the big. Well, let's see. It looks like part of it over there. A big uh, mating jig for the wings of the cougar that was a very rusty piece of equipment in 1980. <laughs> and I'm gonna bet you when they get it all thrown out, that they're gonna be shy as a piece. No doubt. They little pins. Be shy as a piece. Yep, little pins, little clips. Yep. <laughs> like a lot of little templates and stuff. Uh huh. Well, there you go, Kermit. There, there's a tool to make your canopy sunscreen. Just get them to whip you one out while right you're here. Right here. I need one today. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you, I, I'm, I've got God, I wish somebody to get it. They'll probably never make that stuff again, will they? Oh, yeah. They yep. are even on a yeah, I, I uh, talked to them about that, you know, as far as their... That's a two-place bonding tub. Mm -hmm. This looks like mostly all two-place tooling right in here. Probably trying to sort it by type. Yeah, I think so. Looks like they're trying to figure out how that uh, alignment jig works. <laughs> <laughs> place hat shelf mold. Yeah. Wing root molds. Here's the most to make those dead gun expensive little oh, for the, nose uh, boots. Nose boots, yeah. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got seven molds. There's one of them. <laughs> they made those things out of a lot of different colors and stuff. See, they got a they got a, a an ins, inside piece and then the outside piece. And I guess they have to force that stuff in through the hole. In Just through the hole, that's what, that's what I was looking at, I guess. They inject it through. Mm -hmm. There's a four-place windshield former. Another engine mount alignment jig. That, that must look like a two-place there. Another canopy jig. It's several. It's like several jigs for you know multiple jigs for these things. Here's okay, there's part of your engine mount. That's for welding up the oh yeah okay. the, uh, Put the uh, dynafocal ring. Ring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stick that in. <laughs> and here's their their dorsal fin mold. Right there. Except it's made out of wood. Sure is. Yeah. Sure is. Yeah. No wonder we have them coming out looking like a prune. <laughs> that sucker's 
That sucker's been around. Mm-hmm. Man, look at the nicks and dings and Dang, stuff in yeah. it. I wonder if that's that's not I don't want the mold, Ken. That's probably after it's molded they put it on here to drill it off because it got saw gear. Oh, okay, that's yeah. that's exactly it. That, you that's it your there, drilling jig. Instead of going there and do the trimming yeah, and then the your, holes. That's okay. your hard hard points, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I dumb this morning. <laughs> now these are those oh, here we go. bonding jigs. Huh. So you know these things here these pressurize in here. Oh they do? Yeah. To force yeah. actually to make sure. Okay. Yeah. So you got all your, the way around, it just ever so often got a chamber just yeah. kind of. Got all their air jets and everything, and they roll those into the ovens, and they're, uh, then they uh, puff up after the temperature gets up to a certain point. Keep it good and firm and snug until the mm -hmm. bonding process takes place. Yeah, this is. Uh, these must be the ones where they put those caps on the those spar doublers on, on the uh, tiger wings. You get those in, see so that lines you up, lines them up, and they put all the ribs and everything on them in those fixtures, and then the others are to put the skins on. It's about a three-stage bonding process. Oh. Yeah, there's okay, one. Here's one. Yeah, all jigged up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Outboard panel. For the benefit of the guys at the shop, when they bond up the main part of the, the wing, they seal those inboard fuel cell holes and stuff around there before they put the skin on the wings. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Well, they got a lot of it in boxes over there that they haven't even uncorked yet. I'm not sure what that puppy does. <laughs> I know what them are. Them make control surfaces. <laughs> control surfaces. <laughs> yep. That's just machinery over there. Yeah, there's spars. Have they, where are all the spires at now that Drummond had? Have they been moved here yep, already? They're or? over in another building. They have moved them up here. They have moved them up. I guess we're able to order parts again now. From here, yep. right out of here. Mm -hmm. I want to get in there and see what they got. Yeah, there's center spars. I guess oh, they got a, a lot of raw materials. Or tube. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of them. Oh, I have that. Yeah, there's all materials over there now. Yeah. Honeycomb. Center spar is this. That's a heavy sun. That's a tiger. Huh? Tiger and, or, or cheetah. That's not pretty thick. Yep. Well, see, ta the cheetahs quarter inch and tiger's thicker than that. More of them down there.
Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> I think those are inboard spars. Yeah, there's all kinds of sparse <coughs> sections and stuff here. That's not a fast moving item. Uh-uh. Well, it looks like you got here enough here to build first five years production airplanes. Uh, yes. Yeah, that's place, really. well, or the, no, that's probably the wing. Oh, the wing, yeah, okay, the wing for that, yeah. Okay. yeah there's, there's battery box mold. <laughs> <laughs> sure is. Oh, yeah, when you see Don, tell him I'm sorry, but before I could stand to uncowl that engine, that uh, cable, I had to paint those nuts black on that battery box cover. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> tell him his mark is gone. <laughs> Red, <laughs> red wing nuts. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Experimental fuse. We're playing with doing something. Yeah, it's got a 74 75 trainer paint scheme on it. Yeah, that was something. That's probably just blank royal like. Yeah. What it looks like. Yeah. Sure. God, oh, yeah, they got enough good supply of that. They was playing with, I guess. A hole cut out of the firewall. Gee, we got that kind of stuff setting out at our place. <laughs> <laughs> Them damn fuel lines where they hook in. Let me hear it. Up there at Oshkosh? Uh huh. Old Earl from down he's down in Texas. He's got a yank. Yeah. I went out there and I was walking by there and this fuel was just running out of the vent. He'd been playing with it, playing with it. Tell him, he said, You know anything about this? Yeah, what I? He got the paddle off there. Yeah. This thing is just a steady drip. In fact, by this time, hell, the ground was covered. It drained about a half a tank of fuel. Huh. And I said, well, how in the hell is this happening? And I told him, I said, well, these, you know, this line goes on to your selector. This one goes to the bottom of the damn thing. And this one goes to the top for a bit. Uh-huh. And you could squeeze that one soft line and quit. <laughs> pull the, went in there and pulled that inner, you know, where you get at the top of the sight gauge. Uh-huh. Crack the B-nut. Immediately it stopped. Uh huh. Tightened it up and it was okay. Somehow that sucker built up pressure and set up a siphoning effect. Oh, yeah. As soon as we cracked that bean up, poof, it was gone. I guess it stayed that way. He took on heading back for Texas the next day. But he was just coming right out of it. Okay, here's some of the spares laying around. There's a few cowling. boxes of wheel pants. I'm not sure which sides. There's some upper cowling hands, some lower cowling hands. Old early two place and round holders. Yeah, Upper cowls. A bunch of wing tips in there. <laughs> Here's Mags Don's been buying. <laughs> Here's sub assembly. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, this is all torque tube parts. Got them. Yeah, it looks like it. Tips.
Now you, you could go through and inspect them for them, couldn't you, Kermit? Yes, sir. <laughs> I just saw something right over there. <laughs> this is a four place here. Oh, that's Cougar. Cougar nose top skin there. See that corrosion's on that thing? A lot of it stuff. That's from just being stacked up that, together, that they probably moisture. lost a hundred of them. Yeah. Moisture? Yep. Gets in there and sets and sets. I imagine they probably will. Control bearings, there's red boxes there. <laughs> well, we've been going those things with a box full. Traveler tail cones up there. <laughs> Go back and tell Don I got a shot of heaven. <laughs> <laughs> They really don't look like all that much stuff, you know. Well, unless they have some somewhere else. Well, a lot of the big stuff, of course, is over there. We yeah, saw it's still so, packed yeah. in boxes. And they're still moving, so. Mm -hmm. I guess there's some more in the back end of this building back here. 